Hi, I'm Ree from mummy 4com Welcome back to my channel and our week eight renovation update. We are doing a total start to finish house renovation. It's very exciting and so much has happened in the last week that I cannot wait to show you. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. So I'm standing in what will be my office and the back of this will be the kind of laundry room section. Not much has changed in here. It's still kind of a building site brick room sort of thing. Um, Zara is with me and she is eating a biscuit, aren't you? So we're just gonna show everybody very quickly. We have had some swatches through for wardrobe doors that I'm gonna show you. I want your opinion on before I do a little a tour around. These are the swatches. I ordered these online and like pay a few pounds and they send out these different swatches. So this one is called Cappuccino Glass. I want kind of like, a grey-ish something, because the walls everywhere are like a very pale grey, <laughs> if you can hear me over the drilling. Um, so cappuccino glass I think is going to be too brown. I think the stone grey, I don't know if you can tell on camera, or if you can hear me over that for that matter, I think that's too brown too. Now the other, these, the other options, we've got grey toughened glass, my concern is that's too see-through, so that would be like, hey look at all this rubbish inside my wardrobes. Um, and I do want something that covers the wardrobe. Then this option is grey mirror, which I think that is potentially quite nice. So maybe that's an option. I mean, it is gonna be like fingerprinty to the max, but okay. And then this one, we've got grey, light grey glass. Maybe that's an option. Not sure about linen. We could go for white. I think my favorite, to be honest, is just this dove gray panel, which I just think if it's a floor to ceiling sliding door wardrobe, it'll look just like another one of the walls, which is I kind of like that idea. However, when I've looked to try and buy these Space Pro wardrobe doors, uh, we've looked in Wix, B&Q, and um, what's the other one, Screwfix. Can't seem to find um, dove grey panel for sale anywhere. So if anyone's got any bright ideas as to where I can actually get that, because that's what I'm quite fancying, um, then uh, let me know. Um, or something similar for that matter. Because um, of course our other option is just to have mirrored doors, which I love the idea of mirrored doors because they create the illusion of space. Um, however, it's more cleaning and all the fingerprints, isn't it? This is the other option, the silver, but I think that might be a bit dark. So let me know. Which one do you think would be good for uh, sliding doors in the bedrooms, what for floor to ceiling wardrobes? Am I right in thinking dove gray or do we go mirror? Come on Zaza, should we go and show everyone around the rest of the house? Right, let's go and look what daddy's been doing. Okay, so in here, not a great deal has changed in here. I think some stuff has gone, because um, there were loads and loads of boxes with these tiles, weren't there? Uh, it's a lot of mess, but look in here. <gasps> oh my goodness, the kitchen tiles are down. Now, they've not been like cleaned, and I don't know if we're allowed to step on them, so we shan't, you know, risk that. But they, underneath all this, are like a very touch high mommy. shine. Okay, darling, I won't touch. I won't touch. Daddy might shout. So, <laughs> underneath all the dirt, these are kind of like a white glittery tile, which I'm really excited about because we've got a white quartz worktop going in. The kitchen is being delivered a week Thursday, which is super, super exciting. So you can see the pipes through the floor. I think, is that gonna be the sink? It's not, it's, I think it's going sink, dishwasher, hob, and then um, oven and microwave, um, big American fridge freezer, and then an island there. So that pipe coming out the floor is to put electricity to the island. So that's looking great. Really pleased with that. Where is the baby? Where is what, darling? Where, where is the cupboards gonna go? The cupboards are gonna go in here, which will be the kitchen. Oh. Okay. Where Come on then, beautiful. The dessert will be in the cupboards. The dessert will be in the cupboards, yes, that's right. Okay, let's have a look out here. Lots of insulation and stuff. Whatever, yeah, there's no panic on it. Okay, what have we got through here? We've got the tile cutting workstation has been moved to down here because, oh my goodness. Now we did see on the way in, didn't we? What did we see outside the front door? We saw a toilet had been thrown outside, didn't we? 
Mm. And that's all the stuff from in here has been thrown outside. So these, oh, and the magic light came on. Now these tiles, I believe, are lighter than the ones we've got up in the upstairs bathroom. I will go and check now. But the shower is going over there. We're having a big cupboard like we've got upstairs here. There is a, a compact toilet with a sink on top of it, apparently going here, and the shower rail. Shower rail? Towel rail is going there. But wow, this is quite a lot of stuff that has happened. Daddy's doing so well, isn't he? He's working so hard. Right, in here, okay, Dylan's room is still pretty much just a sort of a dumping ground. Oh, yes, over there. That box you can see over there, that bag rather you can see at the back, um, has got our Christmas tree in it. That is supposed to be going up the attic, isn't it? And it hasn't been put up there yet. But I think Daddy's probably been quite busy. Right, so these are the tiles that are going in the downstairs loo, which are like a whitey grey, compared to these are the tiles. If you can see the difference. Hang on, maybe I can take one and put it against. Mommy there we go. So there you can see. So these are the tiles that um, are in the downstairs loo, which look great, don't they, when they're all on the walls. Mommy, but these are the tiles that are all over Mommy, the bathroom upstairs. Shout. Well, only because he doesn't want us to get hurt or break anything. No. Okay. So, right, what was I saying? These are the tiles that are on the, the wall in the downstairs loo, and these are going on the floor, and these are the tiles that are all over the upstairs bathroom and on the floor. So, they are different, and they do look very white compared to that, don't they? But when we look in the actual downstairs loo, I do think they look grey. So, very pleased with them, either way, whatever colour they are. Right. Daddy is back on the tiling case. Very well done on, in there, Daddy. We're quite impressed, aren't we? Because Zara does say, don't touch anything, Mummy, because Daddy will shout. Is that right, Zara? Well, I think we, I have explained that Daddy is just concerned for our health and safety. He's not just being a big meanie. Whoop, trying to go upstairs. Okay. Now, upstairs, not a great deal has changed <laughs> since last week <laughs> when um, I last showed you around. Set an update. Apart from, I believe, the bathroom. Oh, look, this light switch. Daddy had drilled through and messed that up last week, didn't he? But that has been fixed. Now, into the bathroom, which we have got protective stuff on the floor. The bathroom mirror's up! And look, look at this, look at this. If you turn, if you put your hand under here. Oh, whoop! Hand under here, light comes on. <gasps> Loving that. Loving it. Right. Now, when we went to Ikea, we bought some little baskets, didn't we? We're going to see if they fit. Do you want to take those out of the bag for me? Yeah. Now, in this unit, the theory is I'm going to put toothbrushes and things in here. And I just want some little boxes and baskets to put into line in here um, to see if... Um, there we go. Right, will these fit? The idea is, if these box baskets fit, we can put those things in there, and it'll be easier to take out and clean. Now, they fit that way. Oh, they fit. Look, Zaza. Oh, do you have any idea how that happy that makes Mummy? Look, so happy. Because we can put toiletries in those, can't we? In fact, we can probably put some things in the middle. But quite, quite pleased with that. Unless <laughs> Well, we could. We can put spare toothpaste or whatever it might be in there. Um, there we go. And do you know what makes mummy extra happy? Daddy said they wouldn't fit and they do. So, rather pleased about that. Yay! Now, obviously, they don't fit in the top one. We do need to find some, like, thinner baskets for here. But I think definitely these for toothbrushes and things. And if they've got some sort of liner, they'll stop the gunge, don't they? We don't want toothbrush gunge going everywhere. Because I do not want anything left out including hand soap now i've talked about this i talked about this in my latest grocery haul um, i normally buy this kind of hand soap don't i but what i want is one of those mommy, hand soap dispensers mommy, can get the bath? you can't go in the bath now you can look at it though right what i want is one of these hand soap dispensers you know what you have in restaurants and things that are that are just refillable that kind of that ha like sticks to the wall or whatever it's with like a bracket. So I want something pretty and attractive that matches the bathroom. But everything we've seen looks a bit too industrial. I just think it would be nicer than having, and also, you know, more environmentally friendly because I can just buy like a big refill thingy. So that's the plan. That's the plan for that. Um, but yeah, all in all, very pleased with this bathroom and how it's turning out. Um, these are just some old towels, not 
Not the towels that we will be using. You're going to sit on the toilet. Yeah. Are you now? Right, okay. Should we go and have a look, quick look in the other rooms and show everyone around what's going on in there? No, I'm going to get on the toilet. I think you should probably come with me. Come on. No. Come on. Right, let's have a look in here. Now, William's room, when we were in Ikea, oh, I see. When we were in Ikea, my darling husband pointed out that I want a high bed and I wanted it to go across here. And he's like, ah, it'll encroach into the window. And it will, won't it? Because if he has a high bed, it'll come to here and it'll be way up here. So the high bed is not going to work there. Now the other option for the high bed is across here, but that's where we were going to put built-in wardrobes because it is not a good idea to put built-in wardrobes on an external wall because of damp because external walls are colder. So the options for wardrobes are there or there. But the problem is, this is the television point where the television will be going. So if we put wardrobes there, so I'm thinking what we might have to do is stick with the wardrobes here and actually have a low bed. Maybe we could put a desk here, that could work. William could have a desk here, couldn't he? What do you think? My little interior design assistant. Will that work? If I put it there? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. And then over here we can just have like a TV with some calyx units underneath or a desk underneath and we can have some calyx units a bit like we've got um, at home. We've built up like around the TV and if you don't know what calyx are <laughs> they're the Ikea like box shelves I'm obsessed with which all will be revealed. So, okay, we have had to have a rethink in here. We are gonna have to get William like a normal low bed, not a high bed. Bit sad about that, but I think we can make it work, can't we? In here, we are gonna go for the floor to ceiling wardrobes are going on this wall, I believe, aren't they? Gosh, it's very bright and sunny in here. Floor to ceiling wardrobes literally right across there um, for Bella's room. Um, and they are, they're the door, the door swatches that we're choosing for all these rooms. There you go, in here, and in our room. Not a great deal has changed in here other than some of the tools have moved downstairs. Ah, oh, do you know what? Husband is just shouting, window sills. Something else I had not noticed, well he had told me about but I had not noticed, is all of the window sills have been replaced. Actually, and, and sealed, look, replaced and sealed. That's rather lovely, isn't it? We didn't know that, did we? We didn't notice things like window sills. Naughty mummy. Okay, let's go look again. Naughty mummy. Okay, back in here. Yes. I can now see the window sill. It's looking rather good. There we go. Daddy has done a wonderful job on the window sills. Well done, Daddy. Okay, should we go and have a quick look in your room? There are some shower screens here. I'm assuming they are for the downstairs loop. No, darling, this is Mummy and Daddy's room. And in here, Zara's room. Not much has changed in here either, other than the windowsill. Look, Zara, Daddy made you a new windowsill. A new windowsill. Are you delighted with it? What do you think of that new windowsill? Good. It's good, isn't it? I need a low one. You need, why do you need a low one? But I could just, I could just lift you up to look out the window, couldn't I? It'll be okay. No, I need a low one. You need a low one, I see. Okay. Well, we'll have a, we'll have a think about that. Well, I must say, I think Daddy's done a really good job this week, hasn't he? He's done so much. He's done the kitchen floor, all that bathroom's coming along. Are you impressed? Mm -hmm. I am too. So um, by next week, hopefully the downstairs loo will be pretty much finished, including the shower, and we'll be moving on to the Mom, wardrobe. So please, if you have got any opinions on which of those door swatches um, are best, and whether we should go for like a grey, because all these rooms are going to be very pale grey, um, whether we should go for a grey door so it kind of looks like a wall, or whether we should go for mirrors, let me know what you think. And then next week it's also very exciting because the kitchen is being delivered, which is very, very exciting that the kitchen is being delivered. Um, and so hopefully that will all be coming together very soon. Okay, okay. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos every. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday
love it, Sophia. If you want to watch my latest video, it's over here. And for more house renovation goodies, down here. Look at that, it's down there. Say bye! I literally do not know if you can hear me over the time. I'm just talking about something to me.